our president, President Balatinubu, is in Asia, uh, China, to be precise. So let's find out what he's been doing. I think he spent about 24 hours there. And thankfully, we do have a London correspondent uh, with him right there, Juliana Olainka, to give us an uh, update what is seen. Uh, Juliana, outdoor today. Good to see you. How's China and what has been going on with the president right there? Yeah, I've got to say good evening. It is good to see you. I'm seven hours in front of you, so I'm not as bright-eyed and bushy-tailed as you are, but it has been a very significant day. Of course, we know that His Excellency the President Bola Ahmed Tinubu arrived in Beijing yesterday uh, for two things, really. Of course, there's that all-important state visit with the Chinese President Xi Jinping, a really fundamental uh, meeting of two great minds, two powerhouses um, in the world. And this uh, state visit, which I believe kicks off officially tomorrow, um, is seen as an opportunity to reset economic ties. We know that uh, China over the past several years, in fact decades, have invested significantly in the Nigerian economy, particularly in in railways and ports, which was the basis of lots of the uh, discussions that were held today. Predominantly today, I've got to say, was mainly the business uh, community. Uh, perhaps later in the day, there'll be some images uh, showing significant um, deals signed by the Lagos state governor, Babajide Sumwa Lu, as well as the Kaduna state governor, Uba uh, Sani. But I think tomorrow is when we're going to see things kick off proper, uh, when later in the afternoon, I believe it's probably going to be between 9 a.m. and 10 p.m. local time that uh, the president will be with Xi Jinping. And as I say, this is very fundamental, not just for Nigeria and Africa, but of course uh, for China. We know that geopolitics has changed significantly over the past couple of years, especially because we've got two raging wars, one in Europe, of course, which we've discussed extensively between Russia and Ukraine, but also in the Middle East. And quite frankly, for Africa and China, they are observers in this war, um, but they also uh, play a significant role in shaping the future of uh, global geopolitics. So I think it's really important and great timing uh, for the president to be here to speak with Xi Jinping and hopefully uh, we'll be able to bring back a significant investment, particularly, um, as I said, in infrastructure, uh, technology and also within critical minerals too. Yeah, you can say that again, Juliana, because um, I mean, a lot of Nigerians are expectant when we hear there's going to be MOU signed between both countries. We know there was that currency swap uh, which was supposed to ease businesses or uh, operations for businessmen. And then, of course, there's the Belt and Road, which Africa as a whole hopes to get more funding. So uh, we do hope uh, that as you keep your ears close to the ground, we would hear some updates from, from some of these very important areas as the president uh, visits uh, China. Oh, absolutely, Annie. Um, you know, the Forum on China-Africa Cooperation, which is the main reason why um, African heads of state are in Beijing, is going to be crucial to discussing the evolution of the Belt and Road um, Initiative and investments coming through to the critical power sector, as well as in infrastructure and technology. We've got um, the Minister for Digital Economy here, Bosun Dijani. He was speaking this morning um, at Huawei. And it does appear at least uh, from the optics that the mood music around this Nigerian delegation is very, very positive. Um, again, of course, we know that Nigeria have been seeking uh, funding and financing from China for several years now, but China too is also in need of uh, significant amounts of investment in their own um, capacity, particularly uh, when it comes to a uh, human power and uh, manpower and the fact that we have so many uh, really bright, talented, young individuals uh, desperate for work. I think that was um, a critical issue that was mentioned earlier uh, this morning. But again, I think once the uh, forum does actually kick off on Wednesday, we will start to get some more significant uh, sound bites and lines coming out of the presidency in terms of expectations because of course you know this may only be uh, the second official state visit uh, from 
uh, the president, but we've been around the world a lot. And, you know, I think we've gone past the stage now, haven't we, any mm. just talking or going, uh, begging uh, for financing and funding. We need solutions. We want to see this implemented. We want to see it trickling down. We don't just want to see a uh, large delegation. So I think tomorrow uh, we'll have um, more of a better understanding of what exactly is going to be achieved uh, during that one on one between President Xi and uh, President Tinubu. And that kicks off, as I said, about 5 p.m. local time, uh, which is just in time for your business show in the morning, Any? Yeah, aren't we so lucky that we'll get the first sound bite and all of that, Juliana? And we do trust you, uh, obviously, to keep us updated. So thank you, Juliana, and do take care. Talk to you tomorrow. I will talk to you tomorrow. Like I said, I'm seven hours in front of you. So, <laughs> yes. yes, that's why I'm not as. <laughs> Good night, Juliana. So I can say good night, Juliana. Thank you, Amy. <laughs>